You are now looking at the Zero Touch Provisioning Dialog CLI of the 9004 and it really gives you a few options whether to enable debug or static activate for example point to point over Ethernet IP assignment or a static IP address if DHCP is not available. Um, for this setup I'll be using DHCP so that doesn't really uh, matter in this instance but if you do need to use any of these uh, mentioned uh, static attributes you can do so. Um, for now I'll enable debug just to give you an idea of what's happening under the hood and I'll now connect my Ethernet link with DHCP provided. So the first thing that will happen is it will fetch an IP address and try to reach out to Aruba Activate or device.arubanetworks.com. Device.arubanetworks will also relay, for example, if this device is subscribed uh, to Aruba Central and if it is, it will uh, attach to uh, the EU pod and it will fetch the configuration uh, to be pushed down to this device. So important to note is that by default VLAN 4094 is used for this connectivity. And every port for the branch gateway will be used as zero touch provisioning with the exception of port one. So every controller or branch gateway will use with zero. So the second port will uh, not be used for zero touch provisioning. From this point on, the Aruba gateway will interact with Aruba Central to receive its configuration. After uh, it has synchronized with Central, it will reboot. So any software upgrades uh, will happen at this particular time, um, but there will be a reboot in order to uh, receive all configuration and it, uh, for it to be active. This also means that the password that you've configured in Aruba Central is not yet active. Um, if you do have any uh, trouble with um, connecting to the device, you can enter it by filling in password and then forget me to override this particular device. And you will do that by going to configure terminal or disaster recovery on. Because connectivity is currently up with Aruba Central, we are not allowed to uh, interact with the device yet. So this will happen after the reboot. So this is the process of rebooting the branch gateway. And after a few minutes, the device is up again, and then you can also log in with your admin credentials uh, to um, interact with the device through the console. So let's take a look on Aruba Central for this particular device to configure the password for it. Sure enough, we have a branch gateway R9004 connected. And the first thing that I will do before uh, going to the configuration of this device is configure the password. So we can actually log in into the device. Going to advanced mode and then just really fill in here the password. And this should take up to 15 seconds in order to uh, synchronize with the branch gateway. So as you can see, I'm now logged into the device and I can now um, execute some show commands like what are the IP addresses on this particular box, what is my route. 
And for example, which is also really important, what's my connectivity status to Aruba Central? Show Aruba Central space details. And it'll show you to which particular pod instance you're connected to uh, and whether the device uh, was disconnected and why. Please bear in mind that you cannot configure anything on the device itself anymore because that is all done through central. The only way that you can do that, for example, in the instance of a misconfiguration management is to enable the disaster recovery mode. This will allow you to perform any, uh, uh, any changes that you need on the VLAN interface to um, restore connectivity to a central, for example. And that's all there is to the Zyrtec provisioning process and getting your branch gateway up with Aruba Central.